Hi guys, let's review the quiz for alkanes. This is a very very simple one. Many of them are memory based. So, make sure you integrate anything that is new that is not taught in the lecture with in your notes. Question 1 is extremely simple natural gas. It is a memory based question. Methane is called natural gas. It is naturally occurring. Usually when the use pun the kennerl methane. Extremely dangerous as well. Alkanes mainly undergo reactions having alkanes carbon 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 hydrogen bond, non-polar bond. Non-polar ionic avo, electrophilic nucleophilic avo So they always undergo heat photochemical substitution reaction. Okay. And also free radical. This is confusing that is the reason I gave you this. They undergo free radical reaction based on heat or photochemical. So, photochemical normally alkane reaction either they give you heat or they give you H nu. Okay. So, both of them are possible. This is the more correct answer because there are other types of photochemical reaction that alkanes does not undergo. But it is a good question to know that in the option choose Carbon black is nothing but just like what you use for printer ring. It is actually you get it from decomposition of methane. Again it is a memory based question. Question 4 the reagent used for conversion of. So, now we know conversion of reactions will apply it is a very rudimentary reaction very simple one. First thing you want to do is COOH group in yellow. So, you do not right away say decarboxylation, you do not say that. You always look at the number of carbons 1, 2, 3. In the 1, 2, 3. One carbon comes here another decarboxylation, otherwise, this is a reduction reaction. You use red phosphorus and HI. Red phosphorus HI converts double bond, triple bond, OH group, Cl group, COCl group, everything into corresponding alkane. We will see this and this later as it is and synthesis of alcohols also you will see this. Isopropyl bromide on Woods reaction gives you. So, isopropyl bromide is this. On Woods reaction, two molecules combine, this gets eliminated. So, you get this compound. So, longest chain pathina 1 carbon, 2 carbon, 3 carbon. 4 carbon. So, carbon 1, 2, 3, 2, 3 le methyl record, 2, 3 dimethyl butane. It is an important question in the pattern. The number of possible enantiomeric pairs. So, some of them who joined late might have problem with this. Enantiomeric pairs means optical isomerism lecture la no? For this test, ignore those questions as well. The number of possible enantiomeric pairs that can be produced by monochlorination of 2 methyl butane. So, let us first draw 2 methyl butane. Okay. So, now we are going to do monochlorination, angular monochlorination polon, these positions correct. Now, this and this are same. So, let us label it A, B, C, D. Okay. Now, as it is either the carbon chiral and none of the carbons are chiral. Now, if I put my chlorine okay if i put my chlorine in a does this become chiral no but ninga a la chlorine putting in a b chiral amaro let me draw that molecule it's an important one many people confuse this nama a la podrnala b chiral amaro because b inga a chiral illa rendu me methyl group now one is methyl one is chloromethyl so this will give you let us say say R and S. B la pota, do you get R and S? No. B la ni chlorine pota, rende methyl group per canala, ore or enantiomer, ore or a molecule down, no enantiomer. And C la pota, chlorine poting ana, you get this. And this is chiral. So, C will give you R and S. So, I get two pairs of enantiomers in the pair na ke kranga. How many molecules will you get? So, now there are three types of question I can ask you. Okay. 
how many products you will get idukke rendu iruka answer okay this will give you two this will give you one this will give you two this will give you one two three four five six products okay including stereoisomers ne keta six product not including stereoisomers ne keta four product inge one inge one inge one inge one idu rendu liye varadhu stereoisomers possible evlo pair ne ketaanga na two pairs enantiomeric that's this question so read the question right here they asking enantiomeric pair when cyclohexane is poured on water it floats it's a actually a funny question let's just say this is water cyclohexane it floats anything floats when it has lower density you don't have this in neat iit la da irukke in the forms boat chair and crown but anyways boat doesn't mean that it will float all right it's a straight forward memory based question anything that is less dense will always float example your oil and water now let's go to question number 8 when ethyl bromide and n propyl bromide is allowed to react with sodium basically i have ethyl bromide and n propyl bromide what's reaction what do you get ethyl plus ethyl ethyl plus propyl propyl plus propyl so you will get mixture of three alkanes correct how do we see it is a and b ning react panninga na what's reaction la you get a a a b b b three different which of the following will have the least hindered rotation around carbon carbon bond extremely simple we want to rotate it meaning it has to be alkane id alkyne sorry id yeah, alkyne id alkene hexachloroethane this is also an alkane derivative but this will have rotation b and c to compare panna id rotate aagum ana easy a irukadhu ethane oda edanal ana ethane id ellame hydrogen look at conformers this is tough because chlorine chlorine will repel how will it look newman projection this is how it will look now i cannot rotate it all right so this will be ethane the reaction condition leading to provide the best yield of this so i want c2h5cl so now what you need to do ellame reactant ore mari irukku ana you are looking at this for this to occur you need uv and light so we cannot do this okay now i have straight forward like this one of them is excess now what you want to do idhula vandu neenga chlorine nariya eduthinga na excess ella hydrogen me chlorine alla replace aidum correct so you won't get c2h5cl you will get c2 cl6 c2 cl5 hydrogen like this isomers so you want to minimize the amount of chlorine so you will take this c2h6 excess a eduthinga na idu nareya irukku chlorine kammiya irukanaala ore ore hydrogen replace aagi you will get this compound question number 11 which of the following alkane can be prepared by large amounts by woods reaction meaning symmetrical alkane a irundha easy a prepare panna mudiyum nammala so look from here going from this side and going from this side two carbons two carbons this is cancelled by this but it is a odd number so not good so when you take this one isopropyl group isopropyl group carbon carbon so right there there is symmetry there is no symmetry here tertiary ing irukku also this has no symmetry so it is going to be beta symmetry paaka theriyala appadina neenga carbon skeleton varanjikonga this is just carbon skeleton of this now you see that there is symmetry so if i use this two molecules you will get the corresponding compound molecular weight of unknown compound is 82 compound a could be now count the numbers you will see that it is going to be all of them now the fastest way to do this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 
5 plus 1 6. So, ellatlimay C 6 irukka. Now, I do not count my hydrogens. If you want you can count. What is a double bond equivalent? Double bond equivalent paakadavunga who joined late just count the hydrogens you will know. Double bond equivalent is 2. Here the double bond equivalent is 2. Here the double bond equivalent is one double bond one ring irukka. 2. So, there is got to be the same. So, it is going to be all of this. 13th one what they are telling you is in the reaction we are doing n isomers and the fractional distillation we are doing isomeric products. What it means is this is asking about when you first do this is asking about all isomers including stereo isomers. But when you are doing stereo isomers you are doing R and S. You are doing boiling point. Then fractional distillation is one hour. So, this is just asking you other ways not including stereo isomers. So, in the molecular we are doing I am going to draw the different positions as words A, either into one down, either B, either C, either D. This is nothing but 2 methyl butane. So, the same will come 2 methyl butane we just saw before, there will be 6 isomers and the 6 will have enantiomer pair random apartho, correct. So, now A will substitute panna. I get this and this is chiral. So, this will have R and S, but it will come together in fractional distillation because same boiling point. Similarly, in potalo, alright. So, go back to the previous question, you will know this, but make sure you understand what it means. Motta isomer n, other than fractional distillation, pannengana, heat panna, heat panna, boiling point, get the pirinji veli le varom. Apo enantiomers will always have the same boiling point. They just have different optical rotation. 2, 3 dimethyl hexane. Correct. 2, 3 dimethyl hexane contains. So, now let us label them. This is 1 degree, this is 2 degree, this is 3 degree. Correct. It contains how many tertiary? This is also 1 degree. How many tertiary? It has 2 tertiary. 2 secondary and 4 primary. Simple one. A hydrocarbon of molecular formula C8H18 gives only one monochloro derivative. Now, no, normally double bond equivalent park alarm, but there is no double bond here. Now, it gives you only one monochloro derivative means it has to be a very symmetrical molecule. We will do all of them separately. 2 methyl heptane. How many in, not including stereo isomers? The mom park along. Okay, uh, two methyl heptane. This is a octane. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Charlie. Butane. Delta is pentane. 2, 2, 4. All right. Now we are going to do the number of products possible. This is same A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 products possible. Okay. Among them stereo is a must to pota, inge pota, idi chiral amaro. This will change to chiral, this will change to chiral, this will change to chiral and this will change to chiral. So, if you were to do inge pota, idi maro, that is one enantiomeric pair. Inge pota, it is going to be one more enantiomeric pair. Inge potalum, enantiomeric pair. Inge potalum, enantiomeric pair. Inge. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 extra ones means 12 stereoisomers, 7 not including stereoisomers. Octane la pathingana, octane is a symmetrical molecule. So, 1, 2, 3, 4 different places. Now, I will leave it up to you to find these stereoisomers. Now, here if you see, this is the one where important molecule repeating. This 1 degree carbon, so it will give you only one monochloro product. Here if you see, all of them, if you see, this is same. substitute panna bond substitute pannalam, substitute pannalam, either under same. So, four different products, you can do optical isomers for this. Chloroethane reacts with 
magnesium and dry ether to give you chloroethane reacts with magnesium and dry ether to give you Grignard's reagent. This on hydrolysis meaning H2O pota acidic hydrogen lecture notes neither you get this. So, you basically get ethane. Question 17 is actually gaseous fraction, fractional distillation pannamodha. I have an image here of fractional distillation. This nicely tells you how fractional distillation is going to work out. So, normally this imagine like this is a pressure cooker with multiple vents. Ninga heat panna heat panna low fraction model la velila varum. This is called C1 to C4. Yala C1 when the methane is called natural gas. LPG in rather the usually C3 C4 with a very little amount of C2 and C1. LPG on the wheat la use panrola other than either propane and butane na LPG. Normally cold countries la summer la on the pre rakum winter la on the C4 matana rakum and a C3 one sorry C3 matana rakum C4 rakadena liquid rakum US Canada la na cold ka time la C4 on the vapor away varada but for you guys this is LPG. C5 to C9 is naphtha used for chemicals. We can use this to actually get other chemicals. Pyrolysis panni. Gasoline is nothing but petrol. Okay. So, you want to remember C5 to C10 all the isomers of this not just C5 to C10 linear isomers. So, gasoline is called petrol. Petrol is called kerosene. You want to remember after kerosene is diesel. You can see this in petrol bunk. Petrol bunk la vandu petrol fill uh, spill achana or even when you put petrol little bit you can see vapors coming out. Spill on a petrol on vodane vapor up vedo because low boiling point. Diesel spill achana and the lorry la diesel pora atakala apadiyen inga paaklaan thing nikyo because it does not easily go into vapor because it has higher boiling point because higher molecular mass. Endu thukun nadu la kerosene used for lamps. When you go higher, it is even more thicker lubricating oil, engine oil and also you put it in chain, cycle chain or motorcycle chains. Last one is fuel oil, this is different, we do not use it much, it is used for heating purposes. Extremely high one the tar, tar is also called bitumen for roads, right. You want to remember this fraction, you do not need the diagram, just write this fraction as a table and revise it once. Okay. Together they are called crude oil. This is called a fractionating column. Column long column. fraction. Imagine 100 percent. the percentage They are out of 1. You are making it small small fractions right. So, hence it is called fractions. Okay. All right. Hopefully you guys were able to answer most of the questions if not all of them. Okay, if there is anything that you learnt new or you got any doubts clear, write it down in your notes as well. Okay? Thank you guys.